So, do you want to do the jelly belly thing now? Bieber says yes. So he's hosting an online treasure hunt. Winner gets candy factory. Winner gets a candy factory? Anyone that participates will then be eligible to search for the ultimate treasure, which is a key to one of his candy factories. Uh, The biggest and best part of these treasure hunts is that anyone who joins at least one treasure hunt will be eligible to search for the ultimate treasure, which will be the key to one of his candy factories and an all expenses paid trip and education to it's Willy Wonka. He's literally, he's doing Willy Wonka. You get to go to the factory and he gives you a tour. Are we going to put the picture of the guy up? Uh, it looks like Robin Williams in the spaghetti bath in Patch Adams a little bit. He, but yeah, Jones. I mean, that's what he wishes. Yeah. Like, don't let your kids sign up for this. I promise you, you won't see them again. Oh. Um, I mean, come on, man. Mikey's trying to have fun. Gold style tickets. Real original. Yeah. Why? Well, hey, maybe he's not going for original. He's just trying to drum up some support for. What is an online treasure hunt? Oh, Jim, you just have to pay fifty dollars and then you can participate. Oh, really? Okay. Now I'm still off. on his side. <laughs> nope. That's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. What? Yeah. Those who wish you just need to pay an entry of fifty dollars, dude. That's a scam. Yeah. How is that legal? That's like a hosting your own lottery, basically. He says that the treasure is valued at five thousand dollars, and only a thousand people can participate. But if so, that would be fifty times a thousand. That's a scam. I thought this was illegal. You know, back in the day, it was legal to host your own lottery. Like, I read a story about a guy. um, It was the first court case that ever went to the Supreme Court. He had, like, three years left of his mortgage, and he couldn't pay it. So he hosted a personal lottery where everyone came to him and gave him, like, a a dollar. And then once he had, once 50% of that could pay off his mortgage, the other 50 went to a random winner. Like, that's how people used to pay off. Like, imagine that. Pretty cool. 50 raffle. But like your personal 50 50 yeah. raffle, you keep 50%. Um, those are illegal now. So this kind of seems like that. There's probably a lot of bylaws and loops that I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say because I mean, they started doing the 50 50 50 raffle at more games and events and stuff. Like at the minor league Yankees games. They did one, dude. Arizona Diamondbacks, shout out uh, on the. The Kids Cancer Awareness Day. Yeah, they re- the Diamondbacks account responded to you, right? Yeah, they did. Cool. Yeah, they're a friend of John Boy Media. They did. Um, they they've interacted with you a few times. Um, but yeah, they did a fifty fifty raffle. And again, like, you know, there's some people out there that you know, baseball, blah 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 blah. Not a lot of people that are probably watching this, but um, ninety thousand dollars. And they did a 50-50 raffle. So 45 k went to a children's hospital just because people were watching baseball game and donated. So, like, why every team didn't do that, I don't know. But um, good stuff. And they're not capturing children like this guy. So <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Scary stuff. Yeah. Uh, what about jelly jelly bellies for your Is candy? Candy. You like jelly bellies? Not a jelly bean guy, really. I don't like jelly beans, but I like jelly bellies. I like their version of it. A little smaller, a little tighter. I'll eat them. I think th- those would be my top choice ones, I think. But it might just be because I'm hearing the name again, and I'm assuming that's the only brand I know. My well, mom you, you loves know the, jelly beans. You know the bigger ones? Yes. That are a little more, like, mushier. They're not as, like, hard. Mm. And the, the flavor is a little less. That's like a regular jelly bean. I'm Maybe sure there's a lot mushy. of different companies. Jelly bellies are, are smaller, like, more compact. My mm. mom loves jelly beans. And my grandma, her mom, 
loves jelly beans, so she like got her a whole bunch of them for her my birthday dad back loved, in March. My dad loves jelly beans, and uh, so she was keeping them around. And my mom would pick at them, and then I'd go in and like say hi to my grandma, and she'd just like pawn a bunch off onto me. I like, like jelly I'll bellies. Take them, but. I like the flavor combos and like on the box or the bag, it tells yeah. you like mix watermelon with cherry to get this delicious yeah. combo and mix That's cool. this and this. I like doing the science of it. They should exist for sure. The Jelly Belly factory in California is really cool. I mean, I don't know. Now that I know this guy runs and he's uh, a scam artist, I don't know yeah. if I like it anymore. But yeah, it's like they, they've grown, they've grown into some good stuff too. I mean, they've got like a Snapple brand. They've got. Someone um, in the chat mentioned Starburst has their brand. It's a natural transition for them. Yeah, the Starburst ones are intense. That really is just a Starburst shaped as a bean. Yeah. Which I guess is what a jelly bean kind of is. Heavy. Heavy stuff. I just kind of can't mess around with the overly chewy stuff. Bad teeth. Bad teeth. Terrible teeth. My dad and I share that affliction. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I like Jelly Bellies, but I would never buy time. them for myself. But if I find them somewhere, I'll eat them. Someone put a bowl out. Yeah, oh, that's un- unfair. Yeah. 